All right, I'm back with a brand new DC update, and this is coming at a very timely uh, moment. If you head over to Twitter right now, you'll see that Restore the Snyderverse and Justice, you know, Make Justice League 2 and 3 is trending on Twitter, and it is about to blow up like people would not believe. I am fully convinced at this stage that this is no longer a rumor that this is going to happen, and it's because of what happened on Thanksgiving. There is a platform a platform out there called Vero. It's another one of those uh, you know social media platforms, and I will tell you that both Ray Fisher and Zack Snyder are very very busy on this platform. And this is originally where Zack Snyder revealed that he was doing the you know his version of Justice League and was teasing the crowd. Now, in my last video, I already talked about how a couple of things have been posted teasing Justice League too. Well. Zack Snyder dropped a bomb on Thanksgiving Day, and here is a still from the video that he did where he just posts thankful on his post, and he's got a video of a camera panning into his turkey, and in the background, you conveniently see Final Crisis, the hardbound deluxe edition of the, the story, the one that has like uh, 1,500 pages in it, and there's a couple of notebooks on the top. Zack Snyder is not just teasing this. He's never just teased the public and not done what was going to happen. I told everybody, everything's quiet right now. The merger hasn't happened yet. We will probably not hear... I'm still betting that we're not going to hear anything definitive until that merger hits. But I guarantee you, as soon as that merger hits, we're going to see some major announcements. And I think this is going to be probably the first... It's no surprise that Zack Snyder wanted to continue this story. It's always been out there. The fans want him to continue this story. And him posting that Final Crisis could easily lead into Justice League 2 and 3. We've got the Nightmare version of Part 2, and that's already all laid out. He has a story for that. And ultimately, he wants to end with something like what happened in Final Crisis. Now, I myself am not a big fan of Final Crisis. I am not a fan of of Morrison's at all. I think Morrison is a hack. Uh, he kind of reminds me of Damon Lindelof in Hollywood. Lindelof gets his fingers on everything and tends to burn it and just pisses a lot of people off. And I feel that way about Grant Morrison. I've never been a fan of his, but in someone's hands like Zack Snyder, if they could make something coherent uh, that actually works and is fitting for these characters, I'm all for that. And, you know, maybe it's going to be all tied up in one long movie where they kind of do everything that needs to be done to finish up the story. We don't know what is happening behind the scenes, but I can all but guarantee at this stage, I would almost bet my life on it that, yes, the Snyderverse is being restored. Zack Snyder is not doing this just to tease people. Uh, I fully expect this to fully come to fruition here in the next couple of months once this merger happens. I still expect it to be pretty quiet until then. I would be very surprised if an announcement came before that merger. But hey, with the ground swelling like this, you never know what is going to happen. What are your guys' thoughts? Uh, if I get more information this week, I will post another video. But what do you guys think is happening at this stage? I think there's just too much proof out there to deny that the Snyderverse is coming back and that Hey, Discovery is going to do the one, the right thing once they take over. All right, if anything else happens this week, I'll be doing another video. Otherwise, I will see you guys here next week on the next DC Update.